Straight to this. It's a very important issue. We don't have too much time. Ray Heard, great friend uh, and friend of the network. Yeah. Nelson Mandela, we, 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 for a few days, we simply paid respect. Yeah. But at this point, some of the mythology, Ray, yeah. he's left a country ravaged by unemployment, yeah. AIDS, yeah. a rape culture, murder, carjacking, racial divide. Is this really such a wonderful legacy? Well, compared to the American Revolution or the French Revolution or the Russian Revolution or the Chinese Revolution, it's been relatively benign. It's getting worse, not better, Ray. No, it is, but he was president um, several years ago. There have mm. been two successors that... Current successor, Zuma, is a joke. Mm -hmm. Zuma's only interested in Zuma. But one thing about Mandela that I find fascinating, and I know him, as you know, he hated to be regarded as he's been regarded this week as a saint. Yeah. These are his exact words. I never was a saint, not even on the basis of the definition that a saint is a sinner who keeps on trying. He hated that. He was married three times. That's not the worst thing in the world. And uh, there were legal cases claiming he was the father of children who were not okay, children Okay, on a wife. personal yeah. level, I mean, he's yeah. not the only man who had yeah. an element of greatness no. who may also have been flawed in that area. Yeah. But as a president, I, he's not responsible for what happened afterwards. But I think he, he did set the scene. He wasn't a strong president. He was an icon of struggle well, against apartheid. Well, I, I, I kind of disagree with you. Right? He introduced, although he was briefly a member of the Communist Party, mm -hmm. Mandela, when he became president, and my brother was one of his advisors, they introduced the start of a free market economy. So here's a communi former communist introducing, for his first few years, a capitalist type system. Right, 29% thing, unemployment, yes, up to 40% yeah, in the black community. Yeah. But look at some of the unemployment rates in Europe. No, like we're near that, Ray. No, Portugal we're near that. and Greece, pretty close. But the other thing you've got to remember about Mandela, it takes time. The problem was the clock was running on him. I said to him in one of the few chats about this, stay in for another term. He quit. He was the only one who could hold it together. And if he had not been there, Michael, there would have been a racial okay. bloodbath in South Africa like there was in America 30 or 40, sorry, 80 okay. years after the Civil Ray, War. Uh, you covered uh, a, a massacre in yeah. South Africa. 60-odd people were killed. Sharpville, more right. than that. Women and children. 44 striking miners' uh, yeah. families. Shocking. Were, were, uh, in a post-apartheid, Mandela-type yeah. government. Are things really that much better for black and white? They are appreciably better. There's a black middle class now yeah, I would of agree. six million people. Mm -hmm. Do you know how big it was when I was there? How big? Zero. Yeah. They weren't allowed to belong to the middle class. I would agree with that. I, I think that there is a black middle class that has certainly benefited. But, but the mass of black people yeah. are still living in poverty, okay. in shanty towns. Yes, but everything's relative. Compared with any other country on the African continent, but neighboring Botswana, which is small, South Africa has the highest standard of living, which is lamentably low by your and my Canadian standards, mm. but compared to any other black African country, incredibly, it's high. Incredibly violent, a, poli a police force that is inefficient. Totally true. In incompetent, But guess what the good news is? The latest figures show the rate of violence over the last few years has been dropping. As the middle class grows in South Africa, mm. it has a better chance Disputed. of I read beating them today. history, of beating history, and, and Mandela, right. compared with the rest, was relatively a good leader. I, I think he was a, a wonderful man, exemplary man in terms of forgiveness. Foreign policy, and he did start this, a foreign policy, an alliance with China that is sponsoring murderous regimes. Oh, really, Michael? Guess who America's greatest trading partner is? I'm not forgiving is America. The People's Republic of China. So everyone today, to digress, is criticizing Obama for shaking hands with one of the Castro brothers. They shake hands with Chinese True. murderers. True. The Chinese killed 70 million people. I don't like the communist they're, they're Cubans. They're supporting Mugabe so, and, so, and Burma so, and Sudan. So Mugabe should be thrown out of the Commonwealth. Agreed. I think uh, Stephen Harper could take the lead there. But right. everything is relative. Compared with other countries, South Africa is doing much better We're going to have might to agree to disagree in a very Nelson Mandela type of way. Thank you very much okay, indeed. Okay, thank you.